Hey, hello everyone, it's Rose. Get Good Fox. Welcome back to Vampire Survivor. So we're going to continue playing as each character at least once. Today we're playing as Clarici. Uh, her starting weapon is the Santa Water, uh, which would normally not be a very good starting item, but she does get some things to compensate for it. So uh, her ability is that she gets a permanent half health regeneration per second and 50% whole more hit points. Uh, that's really not super great, mainly because I prefer offense over defense. She starts with a temporary area bonus that shrinks every time she levels up, and that's what helps her get going in the first place. So uh, I don't think she's a very good character, just based on things. So we're going to go ahead and just go to the hyper dairy plant, though. Why not? Let's give it a shot. Um, I'm choosing this because I do have a build in mind, and um, yeah. I want to try a particular Arcana, too. Okay, so uh, let's start out with Disco of Gold. And actually, you know what? Let's not start with Disco of Gold. Let's start out with Gemini. Gemini, I want to try out the birds. So that's something I'm really interested in trying. So let's go for Gemini. All right, so you're going to quickly see that she is... Um, okay, we're totally getting surrounded at the moment. But as you can see, she starts out with a really, really big area. Like, those guys are just getting totally owned. Every time we level up, we do lose some of this bonus, however. That's an important thing to note. So it's, uh, it's she's just like Porta, in the sense that we would prefer to avoid leveling up, at least in the beginning. Unfortunately, it's it's a little bit hard to aim. But that's, that's the goal. Let, let's just knock out, while this weapon is as strong as it is, Let's just try to knock out as many of these guys as we can. Eventually, we'll wind up leveling up, though, and, um, yeah. We'll just have to hoof it from there, right? I mean, it's not doing too bad. Like I said, the, the main problem with this character, I find, is that I just don't want... Uh, I don't want so many defensive benefits. I want offensive benefits. Offensive benefits are where it's at. Okay, so we're finally starting to get surrounded. Um, let's start banishing things. I don't want any of these, so... Well, wait, that's not true. I do want to build Fuwala, so let's go with the whip. Let's go... Oh my god, did you see the area on that? That is wild. Um, yeah, sure, another whip upgrade is fine. That is pretty intense. We could definitely use this to continue farming enemies without actually contacting anything. Not for a whole lot longer, but, you know, I'm going to milk out the bonuses as long as I can. There we go. Trying to avoid it. I mean, like I said, eventually it's just not going to matter. There's going to be too many, too many enemies, and there's going to be too many gems. There we go. We're making it happen, though. Um, King Bible is not on the list, is it? None of these are on the list. I'm going to banish King Bible. Hate to do it. I love King Bible, but it's not on the list. Okay, I feel like it's gotten small enough that let's just fight like normal. Banish Pentagram. Not on the list of things that I'm planning on using. Uh, Torona's Box is, though, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Torona's Box is on the list. Uh, Duplicator is on the list. Yes. There we go. And, uh, let's... Let's just get Duplicator maxed out. Duplicator is so helpful maxed out. I, I'm... Hopefully we're able to actually, like, defeat this level on Hyper Mode. I feel like we should... I mean, like, something, you know, this level is one of the tougher levels, though. So I'm never completely sure. I, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start leveling up Toronas, I guess. Actually, what about more Santa water? You know, I'm okay with that. Get that Santa water going. Man, the whip is actually, like, cutting these guys down. Very happy to see that. Um, spinach is on the list. Okay, we're, do we're not doing bad on items, to be honest. I'm going to be relying on some of the stage items to upgrade our stuff, like uh, a tract orb is a stage item here. Uh, let's go for the whip. Whip is a great early game, we I, a pretty good early game weapon, so I definitely want to use it. I mean, it, it's not as user-friendly as the 
Oh, man, we're getting a lot. Crown is on the list. I pretty much use Crown in all my builds now. Um, the, the reason I do like the whip in the early game is because while it's not as user-friendly as, say, something like the spinach, the firepower is pretty good. Axe is on the list, right? Yeah, Axe is on the list. Let's grab the Axe. Uh, guns are actually not on the list for a change, so I won't be going for the guns. Let me see if I can punch through these jellyfish guys. I was hoping to get a little bit of extra EXP off them, but they look a little, still look a little too tanky. So I guess one of Clarici's bonuses is that she does have a lot of health, bonus health regeneration. Oh, Vento Sacro, definitely want that for Fuwala. Okay, so we have almost everything we need to assemble Fuwala. We just need to make sure that we get our hands on the, the heart. Um, spinach? Nah, Santa water. Might as well get these weapons going. Although, maybe I should do spinach. Uh, if I do spinach, it has the benefit of... If I level it all the way up, it acts kind of like a banish. Just give me something. Spinach? I'll take it. You know, just... I would really like to get the, the crown level up. That's always a good one. Axes? Sure. We gotta make sure we banish the, uh, the Tarona's box. Like, I, I just am not happy about that. That 100% curse is brutal. So far, we're not really benefiting at all from, um... Oh, I know what our last two weapons are. Our last two weapons are going to be the birds. That's right. That's right. Because we're gonna see how the, uh, the Gemini affects the birds. I mean, I feel like Gemini with birds should be pretty good. I mean, I won't know until I really give it a try, but still. Vento Sacro really showing its value, cutting through some of these tankier enemies. A great combination with the... Oh, there we go. Hollow Heart. Okay, so we should only have one more item on the list. What is... It's Clover. Clover is the final item. I just threw Clover in there because I was like, I don't know what else to do. I a little bit of luck. Maybe we'll get some cool item drops. Duplicator really helping us out on the axes. And axes have enough firepower to knock out some of these tankier enemies, too. Cutting them down. Maybe I should have gone for Gemini later. I'm not sure. Maybe I should have made Gemini my third pick. Uh, I'm just gonna get spinach here. I mean, uh, building up to 50% damage combined with, um... What do you call it? Knocking it off the list? I don't think that's a bad idea, to be completely honest. And until we, you know, until we actually max out our build, it's not going to matter if we whether or not Labora is fully leveled up or not. And I feel like our firepower is pretty reasonable at the moment. We just mowed that guy down. It wasn't even a thing. Not even a thing. I'll take this. More axes? Axes? I mean, they're reasonable. They hit pretty hard, and there are some tankish enemies we're dealing with right now. 75 damage on that hit. That was really nice, actually. Yeah, like, those axes are brutal at the moment. Look at that damage. Oh, summon the jellyfish in. Let's see if we are strong enough yet to cut them down. If we can, they're just technically just some more EXP. I'm pretty sure they'll drop gems. Yeah, we are killing some of them. So maybe we should just farm right here. Uh, there's the clover. Oh wow, look at that. We're, we are we are on. Wow, are we on schedule? How unusual. Yeah, we are on schedule, and we actually have all of the, what we need. That's good news. Now I am relying a little bit on Clarici's healing combined with my, you know, the the points I've put into. Just natural health regeneration as well. There we go. There we get some points into. So that what that means though is well, um, we could just immediately go into Mad Groove. That's uh that that's nice for a change. I like that. No, you don't. I definitely. I mean, like, we've already basically lost the main benefits of Clarici. Maybe Clarici is okay in the beginning of the game when you don't have a lot of upgrades and you're basically just trying to, like, 
you know, get some things. Let me try to stay underneath these tanky guys. I want to throw upwards into them to try to clear them with the axes. Oh yeah, I think that's actually working pretty well. Oh, it's just, it's just gross. We were just cutting these guys down. Um, okay. Those are all pretty good. I'll take some more luck. Crown? Yes, please. Let's go underneath so that we can start throwing up into the throwing up into the. Oh man. The dialogue of being a YouTuber. Um I'm gonna get Clover maxed out, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't be doing that, considering that we do have everything we need to use Mad Groove immediately. Maybe that's a bad idea, I'm not sure. Guess we'll find out. I mean, we're still chopping through them. Tankish enemies or no. Getting all those stage items is going to be a really big benefit, too. Going to be very happy to see that. Um, yeah, let's just get Clover upgraded. Whatever. I don't care. Okay, here come the first wave of the ninja skeletons. Normally a troublesome wave. We'll see how it goes. Kind of will give us a... The, the ninja skeletons will give us a hint to how how we're doing in terms of our firepower and capabilities. I think we're doing pretty good. We seem to be like pushing. Oh man, those axes do so. They're, those axes are just so brutal. I love to see it. I love to just cut down these. Like when you cut down ninja skeletons, that, that just feels really good. Let me just step on these on purpose. Yeah, look at these more, just more enemies to take out. Okay, ebony wings are good. So there you can see we actually got two birds. Look, they're side by side. We've got ebony wings and we have the, um, I guess the red bird. <laughs> we got red. Is, is he going to be like, wait, 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 on us or something? Yeah, we got red bird, boys. Um, Santa water. A uh, fairly generous, like, I got to say, it's a, a fairly generous game we're playing at the moment, considering that we haven't really used much in the way of our rerolls or anything. Not that I'm complaining. Uh, whip. We do want to get ready for Fuwalu. Want to get Fuwalu done as soon as possible. That's kind of a bummer now that I think about it. We haven't really gotten a lot of Vento Sacro ups. Um, Clover. Let's finish off Clover. Explode everyone's face. Going for the upgrade. Okay, more in the Hollow Heart. Not a super important one. Bringing in the turrets to try to harass us. That's fine. I'll just cut them down. Let's grab this as a free item here. Um, I'll do it. And um, Santa water, sure. I don't have a problem getting Labora up. Labora is pretty darn good. I would like to avoid a little bit of damage just to let our health come back a bit. Shouldn't take that long, given that Clarici does have the built-in regeneration, combined with the fact that I have, you know, our character is maxed out in all stats except Curse. And part of that does, in fact, include... What's the word I'm looking for? It, do it does include uh, health regeneration. I don't think I'm going to be able to get any of those guys. That's fine. The, 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 like the stampeding bulls are honestly pretty tanky as well. Not going to lie. Oh, there is a... Boom! Wow, that barely even heals us. That's like that extra health combined with the hollow heart. Let's go ahead and grab this. I'll take it. Whip upgrades, axe upgrades. How close is axe? Axe is uh, almost there, actually. No, you don't. You're not gonna, like, spawn on top of it. Let me see if I can find- Oh, that's what I'm looking for. There we go. Time to mega farm. And, um... Let's just get Santa Water ready. So Santa Water is ready for an evolution. And, of course, we run out as soon as... The boss appears. I'll grab this healing item.
getting a little more pressured here, but at the same time, I think we're still okay. Axe is devastating the skeletons above us. I feel like if we just kind of travel around kind of in a loop, we should be okay. We don't have a lot of downward clear, unfortunately, but, you know, you can't have everything, I guess. Our upward clear is great, but our downward clear really leaves something to be desired. Um, whip is maxed out. As you can see, yeah, taking a little bit of damage as we clear downwards. Trying to be a little careful. I'm not being super careful, but I'm trying to be, you know, a little careful. Our upward clear, obviously, as I mentioned, is a lot better. If I have to, I will just clear upwards as like a temporary thing. This guy should be the one who's going to give us our upgrade. Brown skeletons are here. Looks like it's pretty safe to clear downwards at the moment. Maybe not clear, but, you know, just evade downwards, I guess. Um, Axe is ready to evolve. Let's get some Vento Sacro levels. Oh, look at all that. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's grab I don't know what this is for, but let me grab it. Randomazo. Okay, this is going to be... Mad Groove, please. There it is. Um, I will take Vento Sacro. That's an important upgrade. I'm just going to grab that. Trying to avoid all of these skeletons where possible. Oh, God. There we go. You know, one thing I just realized, I, I kind of messed the build. No, I didn't mess it up super bad, but, like, you know, it could be better. I, I should have included um, the tome. That is a lot of spinach coming after us. Vegetables are awful, too. Like, who wants spinach? God. Well, I guess I got Torona's box. Once Torona's box levels up, it will be... It, it will give us some attack speed. It won't be quite as good as um, the Tome, but it won't be bad either. Let me just push through some of these guys. We're a little bit on the tankish side, so, you know, we can handle some of this. Give me that red gem. Um, spinach. Let's get spinach in here. Oh, Pichone. Great. Uh, Vento Sacro. I want to get Vento Sacro going. Um, I want to get vent, like I said, uh, we're very close to Fuwalu, and that's going to be a big deal, so. I love the enemy density. I love it, absolutely loving the enemy density. I kind of want to get Torona's as well. Just want to get it out of the way before we mess something up. Uh, let me see what we get here. Okay, so we got a Bloody Tear, good. Or Bloody Tear, I, I have no idea which it is. This is going to help us with our health as well. Oh yeah, so much better. Uh, Vento only needs two more levels. I'm gonna grab, let's grab up all this EXP. Vento, let's also just, um... Okay, Vento Sacro's ready. Let's just grab all of these items as well. Um... I wanna max, I wanna get Torona's box going. I'll take the armor, I'll take the wings, the ring, the ring, both pieces of Metaglio. Nice. And a free luck bonus right there. Even better. Very awesome. So now we don't have to worry about losing EXP or anything. And once we get Fuwalu, we should have enough self-healing to just crush these guys. Like I said, I do, I do want to get... Let's try to get Therona's box out of here before they accidentally power level it up. You never know when they... It, it doesn't happen too frequently, but it does happen... Now, I feel like I should have a fourth bird, but I don't I don't know where I don't know where it is. One more level in the Toronas and then I'll feel pretty safe because then we can just banish it. All the benefits and none of the wacky penalties. Ah, uh, Pichone, that's fine. Yeah. 
Now, we're supposed to have another bird. We're supposed to have um, a blue bird. I don't know where it is, though. I don't see it anywhere. Our farm is going really well, though, either way. I don't, it probably doesn't even matter. Okay, Toronas. One more level in the Toronas, and we're going to be fine. Oh, man, something hit for 160, though. That was a sweet critical hit there. Or just a sweet hit in general. I think that's actually Bloody Tear. Doing some thick hits. Um... Speed. I like speed. Don't do drugs, kids. Only Fox could do speed. This is an opportunity to just get some hits on them. The reason I'm moving up and down like this is remember that the rules to Vento Sacro is that the faster you move, that if you're constantly moving, you do more damage. Okay, here's another boss. We should be able to pick up a decent... Okay, let's get our banish right here. Once again, let's just take him out while he is frozen. Shouldn't be too hard. Also, let me just get closer on him because the the uh, concentrate our attack on the axes. Let's go ahead and take this. There we go. We got Fuwalu. Yes. Now we should have enough self healing that we should just be able to own these guys. Even if we take some damage, we should have enough regeneration. Silver ring. All right, so next up, we're going to try to pick up, um... We're, we're going to try to level up the birds would be a good idea. And then I would also like to pick up, um, the Clock Lancet, if possible. There's the Clock Lancet, okay. Everything, man, th this, this is a, this run is on course. Even though Clarici isn't really all that impressive, I gotta say, it's on course. Apparently, Clarici is a reference to a uh, Italian talk show. Now, one of their hosts' name was Clarici, and that's where it all comes from. You know, I'm not Italian, so I don't know the first thing about it, but I guess it became like a Italian meme. Apparently, Labora also comes from that. That they actually come from the same thing. Like the name Labora comes from um, that same TV show where this Clarici woman was the host that apparently is this like really humongous like joke uh, at least amongst the Italians like I said I've never heard of it until now um Piccione you know what we're only getting three birds right now I thought we would have four maybe we get the fourth bird when we get Vandalier maybe yeah maybe we'll have four birds in when maybe Vandalier creates the the final bird because I'm, like, I like the idea. I mean, I thought four birds would be cool, but I mean, Vandalier is going to cause Ebony Wing and Pichone to fuse. Together. Oh, look at the more spinach to destroy. Yeah, whereas we should be stepping on those more often to try to generate more of those. Oh, that's the boss right here. Let's just toast him. Um, speed. There we go. I'm just going to grab this. Oh. Okay, we got the Death Spiral, I'll take it. And some defense as well, you know, we are kind of recklessly running through people, so I am perfectly fine with that. And now we are just like mowing, we are just mowing these guys down. It's like, yes, bring them forth. I hunger for them, for their EXP, for their like, whatever, I hunger for their things. Um, sure. I want more speed. Fast! Yeah! Okay, Pichone. Let's get, let's get Pichone caught up. Unfortunately, we can't reach those gems over there, but, you know, that's fine. Not that big a deal. I gotta time, I gotta time the drop a little bit. Collect Handle Labrador, sure. Let's, let's, you know, focus on getting some of these off the list. 
Fuwala is just like absolutely wrecking these guys at the moment. Uh, there we go. Here we go. I stepped on the. Uh, stepping on those. Th there is a recharge time. You can't just constantly step on them and cause enemies to appear, but you can step on them and make more enemies appear, which is what I want. More enemies appear, more enemies to take out, more enemies to take out, more EXP to gain. Oh, exploded them with a... Yeah, I mean, like I said, we do have... Oh, here we go. This is going to collect all of the gems for us. Um... Sure, I'll take on some curse. We're ripping these guys up. I'll take some curse. Uh, more curse, please. More curse, more enemies. And, like, our offense is so good right now that we are just... Ripping through them. Okay. So once again, we got, um, okay, Ebony Wing is up. Like I said, all of these trap enemies are nothing more than EXP, which is why I kind of want to camp in this area at the moment. There's nothing on this level, right? Yeah, there's nothing else on this level. Um, Gold Ring. More curse, please. That's what I'm talking about. We're gonna do the... Okay, there we got that. Oh my god, he li I literally just got one of those as soon as he spawned in. Oh man, he just got owned by that. Okay, Labora is up. Oh my god, we're just getting so many of them. That's not even the plan right now. Ebony Wings, are they ready? Yes, they are ready. Okay, so we're gonna get Vandalier, and then we're gonna see... Do we get another bird when we get Vandalier is my next question. Um, let's just get Hollow Heart. It's level 5. That'll knock it off the list. Oh my god, the Labora is so humongous right now. Um, we'll do Clock Lancet. We are just ultra farming these guys at the moment. This is great. I want a Track Orb. I just want to get my. I want my EXP now, not later. A Track Orb. Uh, we got Flay the Flamethrower. We got a tractor. I guess we're just getting all the things. I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. I'm just... Getting a more gold ring. That'll give us some more curse. More enemies, please. Yes, thank you. Let me see if I can step on a trap. There we go. Skeletons, okay, it must have been a skeleton trap because they normally wouldn't be here. We would have been past the skeletons, or at least I'm pretty sure we would have been. All right, what are we going to get? This should get us Vandalier. Nope, it's another random Azo. Uh, let me think. What do I want? Uh, we could do Disco of Gold. Twilight Requiem causes explosions when they expire. I don't know. Let's just try it. I don't know. Beats me. I mean, we are. I saw that it affects um, the birds. Maybe there's just another skeleton wave, and I just don't remember. Not that it matters at this point. Now that we got Fuwalu, we could just super farm these guys. This is great. Yeah, this must be. There must be another one, and I just didn't know it. Ah, uh, Clock Lancet. Man, one of the things that... So, part of what makes the, um, the, the Super Whip so strong is the fact that they generate these little critical hit explosions, and that just, like, that just mows clusters of enemies down. It's just so good. Oh, are those the explosions they were talking about? Here's some, like, crazy, like, spinach or something that were, like, evil spinach that we need to kill. Um, I want to get Candle Labrador maxed out. Yeah, guys, let's get Candle Labrador out here. Get our size up to the max, combined with the Rona's box, and the Silver Ring. Oh my god, we're going to have Candle, Silver Ring, and the Rona's box. We're going to have, like, massive size. Uh, yeah, take Silver Ring. Okay, this should get us Vandalier. Now we're going to see what happens. Okay, so we got Vandalier. Do we get another bird? 
Yeah, okay, I see it. We do get a blue bird. Okay, so that's the way it works. So we get one of them for just having a bird, and then we get another one for getting Vandalier. Very interesting, I will say. Um, Laurel? I mean, I want Laurel, but I don't want it as much. Yeah, I'll get Laurel. Oh, we were supposed to get. Did I not? Did I? Did I do this wrong? No, no, no. We got them both. What am I saying? I'm, I'm, I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy. I thought, I thought I broke the build, but no, we're fine. Oh, sounds like someone's mowing the lawn. Apologies if you. I mean, I'm sure there's so many sound effects that you won't hear it, unless they literally mow right next to me. Look how big Labora has got. That is crazy. I love to see it though. Yeah, look, so you can see the other birds are also attacked. It's like Bird Central. Holy crap. Man, it makes me want to do both of them at the same time. Um, Metaglio Wright is curse. More curse, please. I'm just grabbing things. I don't even know what I'm doing. Here's the boss. Let's see how fast we burn him down. Oh, my God. That boss got absolutely vaporized. Ah, uh, Metaglio left. I, I don't even know what I'm leveling up at the moment. I, I even feel like it doesn't even matter. I'm just grabbing all the things. Man, the fact that we have the, uh, the bonus luck as well. We're just getting so many crazy items and stuff. Oh, this is great. Let me see if I can trigger another trap. Oh, more evil spinach. They are literally just more EXP. Uh, Metaglio right is more enemies. Let's go for Metaglio right. Max those enemies out. Um, I do want Vandalier, Metaglio right. Oh, it's so crazy. Metaglio right. Yeah, even with all this curse, we are still just vaporizing these guys. So they, it's just more farm. That's all. It, it literally just translates into more farm. Metaglio right maxed out. Let's just get... Oh, okay, so basically everything is just about maxed out. I, I'm just clicking buttons at this point. This is... So strong. We are, like, just owning these guys. Look how big our weapons are, too. From, like, having all of the plus area. We don't even have the, like, plus area, um, arcane. Oh, yes, thank you. Looks like he wants to mow the lawn right next to me, of course. Always good. Thank you for the, the, the you know, I, I guess, I guess he's like, well, if you're lawn mowing enemies down in real life, then, um, I guess, uh, it'd be okay if I lawn mow some lawn. I'm guessing that's his line of thinking. There's something very... I don't know. There's just something satisfying about just mowing all these guys down. Oh, my God. Like, we are, like, the living lawnmower. Or, I guess, the digital lawnmower. I'm just going to do random. I don't even care. Just give me... Just, like, pick things for me. I don't even care at this point. Oh, yes. Yes. Big night dudes, no problem. And then our health regeneration is even going to be even more insane because one of the Metaglios also gets health. Okay, here we go. I don't know what we're going to get. Oh! I don't even know what's happening here. Okay, infinite corridor. Looks like we need one. I was wondering if we could evolve. To, I guess you can only evolve one weapon per chest. That's fine, though. It's not that big of a deal, to be completely honest. I don't even know what upgrades we're going to get. Like, cause I, ch I set it to random, so it's just like, we're going to get some kind of an upgrade. I mean, hopefully it's a good one. Hopefully it's something. Once I complete, um, once I complete the build, I'm just gonna skip to the last few minutes because that's the part where it's gonna matter the most. 
And besides, like I said, I don't think Clarici is a super, super good character. So, you know, we're, we're just kind of, like, exploring the characters. You know, maybe we learn something interesting here and there. You know, like, Don Mario was actually quite good. I, I was surprised by him. But some of the characters, no, nah, wasn't surprised by him, even in the slightest. These are the Chimeras. It's just, like, so much going on. I can see why there might be some epilepsy warnings for this. And every time we level up, we're just like randomly getting stronger. I don't even know what we're leveling up. I just know that we are. And I mean, the enemies, I mean like sure, they can spawn more powerful variants of the enemies, but uh, we can't get any more curse, so. Man, look at, like, the crazy whips. They're, they're basically the distance of the stage. And I'm just like, every time you hear that ching noise, that's like, um... That's an indicator that... That we're gaining, like, random level ups, I'm pretty sure. Yep, yeah, that's a random level up right there. I'm surprised we haven't fought another boss yet. You know, maybe I won't do a jump cut, because, I mean, we're going to be at 28 minutes. Oh, my God, there's just so many things happening. Oh, there we go. Crimson Cloak, done. That finishes the build. Yeah, like I said, the only thing, you know, and, you know, in hindsight, I don't even know if I agree, just because I kind of like having um, the clover. I, I like the little random items we get. To, I, I'll be completely honest. They are just getting totally shredded right now. Like, this is great. Cutting through them. And now that we have the infinite corridor, it's just gonna keep, like, hacking their life apart. Here we go, level 28. Or, uh, 28 minutes in, rather. The enemies, the best they can do is 10 damage to me. That's one of the effects of the Crimson Cloak. We should start power leveling now because this is going to be all... Oh my god, look at Labora. Let me just stay in the circle here. I'm just going to let, like, Labora, like, pile up. Or maybe not. I want all these gems. It's so crazy. We're getting so many level ups. Yeah, okay, so that definitely confirms that the enemies spawned in by the trap definitely dropped gems, because all of those evil spinach guys did. We're almost to level 200. I don't know if we'll hit level 200. I mean, we still got another minute. Yeah, I think we will probably hit level 200 at this rate. Blasted them away with, like, a random, what do you call it, um... can't even think of the name of it now. These guys are pretty tanky still, so, you know, they might we might not have the gem density for it. At the same time, you know, like, Infinite Corridor will break down even the toughest of enemies. Yeah, 84. Now yeah, we're probably... We might make it to level 90 at the best. Although, at the same time, even the red gems are not giving us nearly as much EXP as we got before. Like, some people have gotten to crazy. I see, I, apparently some people have gotten, like, level, like, 600 and stuff. That is wild. I, I mean, I, it's probably doable on stuff like the Bone Zone. We're almost there? Like, 87? 88? Come on, give me a little more EXP. I can still get some crappy enemies in here? Oh, yeah, it's not quite enough. All right, let's see if we can own this guy. 10 seconds. Let's see, if we, can we take him out before 30, 20? 30, 20, let's see, 30, 30. Uh, how many seconds is it gonna take to mow this guy down? Oh, he's pretty tankish. Look at this, I haven't frozen him yet. There we go. Oh, he's, he's like, he's going. 30, 40, 
40 seconds in and he's still not down. That's the end of him. Oh, I can still make more enemies appear. Oh, can I let- oh, I can- oh, I just got- I got- I snuck on a level in. There we go, I think that was, uh, 189. Alright, I'll see you at the scores section, boys. And here we are, what was our level? Um, yep, yeah, 189. So we snuck the one level in at the end. Infinite Corridor, obviously, the brutal damage there. 70 million from the super wit Labora. Wow, look at Labora, like, tra probably got the massive area trashing people with Labora. Um, also, some of those thick enemies were able to get closer towards the end. Big damage from it there. Uh, Vandalier, reasonable damage. Death Spiral, obviously, not nowhere. You know, it's not one of the big boys. Although Death Spiral can do really good if we get the correct uh, arcanes to make it stronger. Anyways, that is Sukul Clarici. We'll be continuing playing, like as I said, with all of the characters. Some characters we haven't unlocked yet. They're very secret characters. But we will play as all the characters in time. So stay tuned. Uh, and if you have any ideas for future episodes, I'm probably going to do a maybe an arcane showcase where I pick a particular arcade and try to take it to the max. But yeah, let me know what you think down in the comment section. Like the video if it was entertaining. Subscribe for future Vampire Survivors content. Of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.